Hi and welcome to another episode of Breaking Things with David. Today's episode, smart car. Here's an oil change already. Because I got it with 18,000 some miles on it. And the oil's good for 20,000 miles. I got almost 20,000 miles on it now, so it's time to change the oil. As you can see, I'm at work. I already got the smart up on the alignment lift because that was the easiest lift to pull on. And I'm not sure it would fit on any of those other lifts. Plus, it barely fits on this lift. Fresh oil. And one with a Mobile One oil filter. Because everybody on the forum seems to like the Mobile One. And these guys have had theirs longer than I've had mine, so we're going to try it. Uh, I don't need nearly 5 quarts of oil. It only takes 3.7. But it was more cost effective to buy the big bottle than 4 small ones. You can see, got the oil cap and the dipstick removed to put it on a vacuum. So now it's just time to put this some bitch in the air. So we got it up in the air. My first time seeing underneath it. I think it looks clean. A little surface crust on the subframe, but it is five years old. Ah, oil filter. That's oil filter and drain plug. They really couldn't make it any easier. Though, I'm not sure where the fuck that oil is going to end up when I start pulling that drain plug. Well, I might have to devise something to deflect it downwards. Just go grab the tools. Let's get this done. Alright, so we got it draining. The drain plug, just as the screen on it, was significantly over torqued. Took way too much pressure to get out. Just an oil drain plug here. It needs to be snug. Not torqued in like a hundred fucking foot pounds. I'm gonna wait till the oil's in the dungeon for it to filter off. And yeah, I figured out how to keep the oil in it by just raising up the drain pan. Alright, so we got the old filter off. Here's the new filter. M108A. Thank you, little guy. Step one. Step. Wrestle with the child resistant packaging with oily hands to get the cap open. Get all the foil off. Just dip your finger in. Get a little fresh oil on your hands. Lubricate the o ring. This will help it seal against the black when you install it. It's a very important step. Do it on every vehicle that has spin-on filter. I cleaned that off once, but apparently a little drift in the meantime. Clean up the gasket seat again. Speaking of the old one, it's actually a name brand filter. Made by man. The same people who make the factory filters for the Jetta. I think a lot of other German vehicles. So new filters on. Green bolts replaced, I haven't torqued it down yet. According to the service manual, it's supposed to be torqued to 48 foot pounds. I'm not using a torque wrench, I'm just using a standard gadget. So I'm going to go to the generic measurement. They're all German built vehicles. Good and tight. That's plenty. I shouldn't have as much trouble removing it next time. Uh, what I already did off camera was I sprayed this down with shop solve. Ray clean would also work. To clean up any oil. The importance of doing this is if there's a, if you clean up all the oil residue so you know you're starting nice and clean. If there's any oil, you see any oil later, it means you got a leak. And you didn't just forget to clean it. So we're pretty much done underneath the car. Drop it down and uh, put the fresh oil in it. Went ahead and grabbed the funnel. Got our mobile one zero forty. Because Ben says so. And I have no problem with the mobile one, so why not? I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in. Shoot for three point seven quarts. So we're gonna pour in like three and a half, give or take, and then check it. Well, three and a half. Start it and then check it. Let's see. We got. Two quarts left, which means there's three quarts in it. Move the funnel. 
let's start it up and check the level. Also, the whole fucking plastic uh, dipstick is plastic. Really? Oh, goes in easy enough, though. But actually, before we start it, look underneath for leaks. And we're good. First, got an oil pressure light. There it goes. Second circulate through the filter. So we'll check it. Pull the dipstick. Give it a wipe. Now it's wiped. Reinsert it completely. Make sure it's seated. And check it. And as you can see, we really like half a quart well. So we'll go ahead and add that. Okay, so this does take 3.7 quarts and a little over a quart left, so yeah. Focus on the dipstick. You get oil all the way up the cross hatching. So we'll change it done. Dipstick back in, fuel cap back on. Alright, so I'm just gonna reinstall the engine cover, which I got sitting over here. Wash up. And then we're gonna reset the maintenance light. So stop yelling at me like it's done since day one. Switch the service. 288 days past when it was due. Whoops. So then we double tap, turn it off, press and hold, turn it on. Keep holding. It may have taken too long. So. Start the process over again. Double tap. Turn off. Press and hold. Drop my phone. Turn off. With it being pressed and held. This is obviously not working. I'm gonna try again off camera just so I can do everything quicker. Okay, yeah, it was simple as that. I just wasn't doing everything fast enough. So now when I double tap the service thing, 10,000 miles to the next oil change. They said they do it once every 10,000 miles or once a year. Apparently it was a little over on time, but it should have been due at 20,000 miles, so it's taken care of. Now I'm heading home. We're, we're done for the day. All right, so it's been a week since I changed the oil, mainly because I needed to wait for parts to show up so I could finish the 20K service. Originally I was just gonna do the oil, but I decided we might as well do the whole thing. According to the service manual, on top of changing the oil, Got to change the air filter, which is in this bag, and the cabin filter, which is in this one, because everything is special order. So I bought it all online, because it's cheaper, and there's no Benz dealer within like 100 miles of here. I also got a replacement for the rear wiper blade. That one's even green brain. Oh, it's recording backwards. Oh, well, it's the right one. It's the official one. But more on that later. All right, so we're going to start with the cabin filter, which I even got the... It doesn't say smart on it, but man's the one who makes the smart one, so it's the same thing, just cost less. Crack this open here. Oh shit, there's instructions. Those are actually very helpful instructions. <laughs> Pictures and everything. Okay, well, I'd already looked it up, but and there's the new one. It's the charcoal filter. Supposed to help prevent smells. Well, I guess we'll see. There we go. So here's the access cover. What the fuck did they say to do? Push two retaining clips, okay? Oh, okay, so just a little, you can see it there in green, a little tab gets pulled, and then this comes right off. Easy enough. I like how they painted the green on there so you can see them a little better. And then I'm gonna grab a pocket knife because I can't get it out without it, apparently. And 
Hands on. Eh, it's out. And it's pretty disgusting. So, yeah. Yeah, that's the original one. So, it's a good thing that we're changing them. And with our new one. Oh, yeah. This is a lot lighter. Oh, good. Back in the same way we found it. Make sure to orient the airflow arrows the correct way. Get up in. Get in. Clips were like this. Clipped and clipped. Make sure it's all snug. Boom, done. All right. Now we're gonna do the air filter. The engine air filter. Part of the other reason that I decided to do the uh, cabin filter is that air conditioning felt a little weak. Like it, it does blow cold air, but it, it's never gonna freeze you out of the car. I don't know if that's just how this car is or cabin filter is a good thing to try. The more airflow, it'll get colder. So I'll let you know if it improves. Let's forget to the air filter. I've seen this story before. Fold this up. Take a handy dandy little hook here. Clips it on. Uh, no, there's not one over there. I thought there would be. I just thought it was missing. All right. Twist. Remove the engine cover. Set that aside. All right, so there's the filter. Actually, there's the ground. See the ground right through the engine. Kind of neat. Well, first, I gotta go grab a screwdriver. Gotta loosen this screw. So we can pull this off. Just pop these clamps, get it out of the way. Got the screwdriver. Let's give this a little twist. All right, see it moving freely, so that should be plenty. There we go. That's enough. The screwdriver, so I'm gonna jam my finger in there. There it goes. Okay, so my finger works better. And that's what she said. I turned on. Why isn't the boot's definitely out of the way? I cannot, for the life of me, get this fucking thing to move. Then come up. Retaining tape. Doesn't feel like it. Oh, there's a third one. Motherfucker. Hey! Oh my god, it's so much easier when you fucking undo all the clips. Alright, got mostly out of the way. Boop, go downwards. What a pain in the balls. All right, let's see how this looks. Ew. Hey, I think I needed to. Nah, that's so good. <laughs> Wrangled the box out of the packaging off camera. Now this, I did not get a man filter for the engine or even a smart branded one. Cause this one was $8 and the factory one was like 40, even online. We should be all right. And worst case scenario, if somehow the air filter gives us problems, I only wasted eight bucks. No instructions on this one, but we already got the old one out before we even opened the box, so. Slide this out. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's a good thing we changed the air filter. 
Go ahead and slide that in, make sure it fits. And it does. So now we just wrestle this fucking thing back in here. I might regret this later, but I'm gonna take off both sides of this clamp and just take this boot, clean the fuck off. It'll probably be fun wrestling it back in, but it should be easier than wrestling this end with that in the way. You can tell this car is German. He engineered it with just enough room to get this fucking in there. Oh, come on, you fucker. I don't think that's lined up properly. That one back off. That's good. There we go. There's a pain right in the balls doing this one handed. Why is that one not seating? Yeah, that one's in. I just barely see it back there. Looks like it should be in. Hey, now it's in. Tell because it clicked. This one clicked. We get the third one clicked. We I mean, reached the fucking third one. Yeah. Yes, okay. That's on. Now the boot. Yeah, this may be a, this might have been worse. Worse than this small as it goes. You gotta take clips off. There's just no way. Oh, fuck you, clip. And I'm getting that in there with that already on. Maybe maybe we just do that. We can gain enough wiggle room to catch the one side. Okay, sorry about that. Need both hands. But meant to wrangle that side on. So now, get this side. All right, so this side's reattached. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten it back down. Apparently off camera. I need both hands for this. Got this side nice and snug, which means we can now force this back on to where it goes. I'll take the clamp back into place. Just realized I never put the clips back on. Should get this middle one with the hose on? World may never know. Oh, Jesus. Let me get both outside ones. Maybe that'll help. Why won't you rotate now? What the fuck? There it goes. Alright, two on. Third clip. Lifted. Snapped. Alright, that's my good wrench down. That ain't coming off. That ain't coming off. Boom, air filter's done. Move this shit out the way. Engine cover. Smack that on. Take it down. That's good. Unhook the carpet, maybe. There. Boom, air filter, done, check. So now we're gonna do the rear wiper blade, which, relatively easy fix. Take this, rotate it all the way out, like so. No, that's not how you do it. How the fuck do you get this off? Nope. Should just pull out of there. Let me try look this way. Hey, there we go. All right, so wiper blade. It's not torn or anything. It's just streaking a bit. And I've already done the front ones. I did that like the day after I got it. I don't have that on film. Because it was raining and the white front wiper blades were streaking and the auto wipers weren't working for shit because of it. So, new one. 
Should be right, but good. We check. Same. Same length. This one's fancy. It's even got the smart logo on it. And then just like we took the old one off. Pull it into place. See here, quick. Maybe. Yeah, this might be a two-handed thing. There we go, click. Rotate it around. Boom. We're wiper blades done. On that note, we'll see you in the next one.